Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be looking at a 2015 Chevrolet Tahoe. Now this is a seven passenger SUV in red driving on 20 inch wheels. Now some of the great exterior features on this Tahoe includes parking sensors on the front and rear bumper, a smart key system, power lift gate and running boards. And we have our key fob here. Like I mentioned, this Tahoe does have a smart key system. So we can press this button on the door handle to lock the vehicle and to unlock it as easy as pushing that same button there. Now, if we take a quick look in the door, you have your power windows, locks, and mirrors with your memory seating presets on the bottom. You do also have a blind spot monitoring system inside the side mirror as well. Now, if we take a look inside, this Tahoe comes equipped with black leather seating. If we take a look at the top here, you do also get a power moonroof. And some of the features you have next to the door includes your drivetrain options, lighting options. You also have your parking assist where you can turn those sensors on and off along with your lane departure alert. Now this Chevy is a push to start, so we're going to push the brake in and push the start button right by the steering wheel there. Now on the steering wheel, you have some features like your cruise control. You have your heated steering wheel on the left side. On the right side, you have your hands-free calling and your voice recognition. You also have these arrows, which allows you to cycle through your multi-information display. We can also see on the bottom there, this Tahoe has 106,081 kilometers on it. Moving on to our screen here right now, we are on the home screen where you have uh some features like your audio which has your am and fm you also have a shortcut to phone where you can connect your phone through bluetooth if we go back to this home button you also have your navigation here where you can say your destination of course did we press that no we did not there we go um if we go into reverse here that'll bring up the backup camera for you as well Moving down below is the climate control. It is a dual zone, so the temperatures can be adjusted on both sides you also find your driver and passenger heated seats on the very left and right on the bottom, we have some storage and cup holders, and some of the features you have here includes your toggle outlet, outlet as well. And taking a quick look inside the back, we have some storage compartments inside the door. We are continuing with the black leather seating. Now, behind the front passenger and driver seats, you have these electric storage compartments. The rear passengers also have their own heated seats as well. Now, the second row seats do fold down. There's a little handle on the bottom. We can just lift that upwards. The seats will fold, giving you access to your third row seating. Now, like I mentioned, this Tahoe does have a power lift gate, so we're going to hold that bottom right button on our key fob. Now, if we take a look inside here, you can see even with the third row seat set, you still have a little bit of storage space in the back here. The third row seats do go down. It's as easy as pressing these little buttons on the right side. So, if we just hold that, the seats will fold nice and quick, giving you that flat storage space in the back. You also have a little convenient button. You can put the second row seats down from the back here as well. We're just going to hold this button and the seats will fold. To close up, we can press the same button on our key fob, or we can press this little button on the lift gate, and that will close on its own. Taking a last look at our Chevrolet Tahoe, once again, some of those great interior features include your navigation, driver and passenger heated seats, along with heated rear seats, backup camera, and a dual zone climate control system. There's still a lot more I didn't get a chance to show you, so why don't you come down and take a board test drive. We are located here to our Northwest Edmonton on the corner of 137th Ave and San Albert Trail.